Hello, I'm Jerry Hendricks. Welcome to our midweek conversation at First Baptist Sweetwater, where we strive to be the first responders of God's love. Merry Christmas, Teak. Merry Christmas. Yes, it is time. It is time for you. I mean, it's been time for the rest of us for a few weeks now. Nope, but. nope, not everybody. <laughs> How are you doing today, man? I'm doing good, doing good. Had a lot of turkey and stuffing and desserts. We talked about desserts last week, so I won't talk about it again this week. Right. But yeah, it was good. <laughs> this maybe seems sound strange. Thanksgiving seems so far, so so, so long, long ago. ago. Yeah, I don't know. And it hasn't been that crazy of a morning. It's it's not been bad at all. Mm-mm. No, it rained the whole time we were there. Oh really? Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, we there was a lake in the backyard. We traveled uh, Friday, and it uh, rained a good bit. It rained more around here, I guess, than it did in Austin. It rained a lot but in the Metroplex. Anyway. We won a football game and didn't get rained on. Oh, yeah. We we did have a good conversation though in getting ready for the game about the most soaked we've ever been yep, at I a football game. game. And Teak and Stacy were there playing Kansas State. <laughs> there was an alumni band out there, right? And we were just and not at the a right cloud place in the sky. It came right over the edge. <laughs> it, was, no, it was bright and sunny. Oh my goodness! And uh, that was my first trip to Rudy's. Also, oh for real, yeah, first time to ever have Rudy's was yeah. that one. Uh, we still uh, occasion Rudy's. Apparently, they have good breakfast burritos, too. I've had their breakfast burritos. Uh, not as good as the burritos we get around here. Well, true. But uh, anyways, it's uh, it was good. Well, we are off to a good uh, series with Advent. I mm-hmm. uh, had a good day on Sunday and uh, looking forward to all that's going on. I was curious about... Uh, in the student area, you're using the book of I- or the, the passages from Isaiah, uh, the Old Testament prophecy passages. Yeah, yeah. it went that? good. Um, I think it's gone well. I mean, it was one first Sunday. Um, <laughs> we did a deal where at the start we talked about how Hallmark has tried to mess with the holidays by adding all these movies. Oh that really no, aren't good movies. no, yeah. no, it's not true. <clears throat> it is true. And so we did a uh, a top five list of the best uh, Christmas movies of all time. And we revealed them one at a time, and I intentionally left the movie Elf out because, and I put in there, <laughs> if you leave Elf out, your students will engage with you. And we got down to where it was about to be number one, and Grayson Aker goes, it better be Elf, or this is just not a good list. <laughs> and sure enough, it came up Charlie Brown Christmas special, and they're all like, what? Uh, only one agreed with it, so... You were the only one that agreed with it? No, no, Cheyenne Moorhead, she oh, agreed. She said, okay. well, that tells the story of Jesus. I was like, oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> so all those other mm. heathens in there that talked about elf and so what were the Jesus. other ones that were on the list? Uh, let's see, uh, the Gr- how the Grinch stole Christmas, the animated original one, not this new one. Um, Home Alone. You made this Christmas list. story. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's not a real surveyed list. Oh, it is surveyed the important people. Me. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, and the uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Christmas Carol. Oh my goodness. The original one, and so it was pretty funny. Because Grayson goes, I've never even heard of that one. I was like, you never heard of Christmas Carol? Not one with Mickey Mouse in it. I was like, well, your parents just don't love you. They didn't show that to you. Oh, my um, goodness. So it was pretty funny. He said that a Christmas story is too, it's just like real life. It's like a camera following a kid around. <laughs> I was like, yeah, and the bumpus dogs. That is, that movie is my least favorite movie of all Christmas movies. I mean, I'd rather watch Claymation than that. Oh, we, we do watch the Claymation, but no. I can't I, stand that movie. No, I don't like the Bill Murray Scrooge. Yeah. Don't like that one at all. Well, well, I'm glad y'all had fun getting into that. Hey, I was just curious because I've, uh, you know, we, I've been listening to some other sermons uh, from other preachers uh, mm-hmm. regarding Advent, kind of seeing how different people approach it. And uh, I know that this isn't the first time you've done Isaiah. Now, I know we're on a three-year cycle generally with uh, lectionary. So was the last time you did Isaiah in that, se- in that cycle? Probably. Because I was thinking it was just a couple of years ago, but maybe not. I'd have to go back and look and see what it was. That's the year um, Sarah Godino painted uh, paintings for each one of them. Okay. And so I just gave her the passages and she painted for them. Um, you still have them, or are you using those? I have one in my office. Um, there are two hanging in Argos, and someone bought the fourth one. Hmm. So no, I, I only have one. 
Okay. And mine's the uh, the Galilee at day or at dawn. Okay. So. Well, um, it is the most I think still, uh, even after this many years I've been doing it, the most difficult week to preach. <laughs> but uh, I did review. I looked at some of my notes from previous years. It was kind of interesting, the way that I would treat it each time, and. Uh, and each one was just, and I don't normally do that. I don't normally review, but it was, uh, everyone's dis- is distinguishably different. Hmm. Uh, I think it's because I, do, I don't really lean on uh, previous, previous content, I guess, in what I do. I really uh, hope that I can develop a, a thought that's relevant at that time. And so uh, I thought that was interesting just in taking a look back hmm. on that, but. Do you ever wonder how they came up with lectionary? <laughs> like they sat down and figured wait, out it, where those it, wait, fell. I, f- I feel like I'm having a segment in youth ministry right now, uh, and I would entitle it Deep Thoughts by T. Hamilton. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> So just... all of you who are out there in our student <laughs> ministry and have been inundated this semester with deep thoughts, <laughs> you know we're what? in a moment right now. <laughs> if, if it looks a little hazy, it's because T. is sharing some deep thoughts with no, us. It, can you just, I mean... That someone knew, like, it fits so well. And they have a lot of passages. What, there's five each week. There's Gospel, Old Testament, Psalms, and, like, two optional ones or something. And they fit. But you got to figure out how they fit. So, like, this Sunday is that weird Sunday where you've got the apocalyptic imagery and all that. And you're just like, what? But then when you think about it more, you're like, oh, no, that makes sense. That works. It's just weird to preach that. Well, I'm, and, you know, you and I have talked, uh, in fact, I listened to our last week's podcast this morning before uh, we started this one, and we talked about this last week about how much you and I learn year to year mm-hmm. in in doing Advent and in different ways uh, to approach it. And one of the things that I did this year was I listened to Brian Zahn's Advent messages from last year, right? And he did the four prophets. Well, I couldn't. I didn't remember those being in the lectionary sequence. Right. Uh, I, and I and I do typically uh, focus on the gospel or the New Testament uh, uh, readings, and or the gospel readings mm-hmm. particularly for Advent. And and I usually just go with that. And but I wasn't sure where he was, was getting that. And I right. thought, but I didn't realize it had come from the lectionary. And it was mm-hmm. in. So today. Um, we're trying to do all of our content early this week, um, and I was I will go back and pick up in order to fill out our uh, reading calendar uh, or devotional guide. I will go back and pick up verses from the previous years uh, so that we end mm-hmm. up with seven for right. each day, and and I caught that and I thought that's real interesting. Mm-hmm. So I I haven't had a chance really to dive into uh, what that would look like, but uh, very interesting. Uh, that he chose that approach. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It all the way it all fits together. They had to have had a committee that did it, but <laughs> I mean, things rarely get done in committees. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, it's really it's cool how it all fits together. Even the the passage for Isaiah in the it talks about in the last days the mountain of the Lord will be the highest. So they were looking forward to what ended up being the birth of the Messiah. We're looking forward to the return of the Messiah. So it's really cool how it fits together, but. And I think it dawned on me this year, the significance of that struggle is that when we approach the passages about Jesus' return, we're doing that usually in a whole different context right. and not trying to hold that to the themes of Advent mm-hmm. uh, so that it all fits together in in this meaning and this sequence. Right. And once, that was kind of where I was headed Sunday uh, and the first time I really went down that road because mm-hmm. uh, it was... It had just dawned on me the significance of that about really uh, a description of why we struggle. I say we, you and I, when mm-hmm. we look at how to develop that on this first Sunday, uh, that's really kind of what uh, showed up once I started looking into it. Right. And then if you Google, Google um, like the candles, they're right. not always the same. And I think Ryan pointed that to us when you're the, some do it by the shepherds, the, the angels, the Mary and Joseph or whatever candles. And so then there's a, a subject or a character of the story and that's even more difficult and then they always flip peace and love those two seem to be interchangeable at times hope's always first joy's always third we do peace second love last but there's ones that flip it i 
so we talk about this and even today uh, on my I have an advent folder that I pull out once we get into this well I guess a couple weeks ago and written on that folder is that sequence that we use Mm -hmm. and so I'm writing the new paragraph for next week's content and I'm still second guessing myself and I and so what I did because I was at the computer I googled it and it showed this sequence that we don't use right and I couldn't so then anyways I went back to my folder uh, we go hope peace joy and love that's our sequence because when we started I always thought peace should be last but we couldn't find anything that said that but now everything has peace last and <laughs> it makes no sense well I did <clears throat> see uh, while I was looking around it did give just just go- just simply googling it about uh, the theme if you google themes of advent there are suggestions for each year Hmm. And so uh, that was another interesting part that I didn't see or haven't seen until just this morning that uh, I may take a look at to see if there's anything that I would do to adjust this year Hmm. now that I'm already into it. But um, so I don't know if that has an influence on how people might order those Mm -hmm. themes or, or not. I don't really know. I think the lectionary passages fit with the way we do it. When you read those passages, right. they fit with the themes we do. Um, they wouldn't necessarily fit otherwise. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think hope is always first, right? Right. Yeah. Then joy is always hard because it's the pink candle. Okay. Which is fun to explain, also. Like, but I see red and green everywhere. Why is there purple and pink? Right. Well, let's talk. You about notice that. I'm wearing my Advent colors yes. today. Yes, I almost wore that yesterday, but yeah. then I remembered it was a holiday or it's Advent, so I need to wear my Advent sweaters. There you go. Of course you do, too. Yes, I do. <laughs> because we need to see them. I've got some new great ones. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we, uh, th- and so the Sunday, this coming Sunday is the second Sunday of Advent. We'll talk about peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in the context of our worship, this is something that we started last year. On the second Sunday last year, we kept this a secret. Mm-hmm. But this year it's not going to be a secret. No. We have invited the uh, pop sensation, uh, the Sweetwater High School uh, show choir. Show choir, yeah. yeah. I always uh, want to call them a jazz band, but they're yeah. not a band. To come lead us in worship. Uh, they'll do a set, and then they'll also uh, lead us in worship and creates a lot of energy in the room. They're really good. and It's fun. Uh, and I don't know how you feel about this one. We've not talked about this ahead of time, Uh-oh. but we have some of those weeks in the year where we say, don't miss this Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a can't miss Sunday. Wow. And uh, if if there's if you're going to invite someone, this is the Sunday to invite them to. In fact, uh, last week I invited two different uh, families uh, to our church, but I said, "Come on the fifth. Right. The, is it the fifth? fourth, I think. The fourth. Yeah, come on the fourth. Yeah, the fourth. Uh, I said it's going to be a big day. It's a lot different. And uh, if they show up on the yeah. fifth, <laughs> they're going to be mad at you. Well, we're talking about Sundays. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's, I think it's I said fun. next Sunday. But. And it's but you always say that it's all about the music, um, Christmas is, and it fits. Yeah. Well, it's. I do think. Even Sunday, for a per and for a person who is not a singer. Mm-hmm. I, that's not the way I, I find my best way of worship. When I, uh, the first few hours, I, well, before my nap, mm-hmm. there was a song in my head or maybe even on my lips all the time before until I took my nap Sunday afternoon. And we had family pictures, so it was a little bit later than normal. <laughs> family pictures. But you just can't get those songs out of your head. Yeah. Now, it was also, I really appreciate what Matthew did Sunday. Uh, I'm not sure a lot of folks caught it, that all of the songs that he did were Advent songs. Hmm. They were contemporary worship songs. Only one was recognizable, probably being close to what we would find in a hymn book. Right, Christmas songs. But song, all yeah. of them were Advent themes. Right. Way to go, Matthew. Good job. Yeah, it was pretty good. And, you know, I, was, I found it interesting, too, as time has progressed for me, uh, in working with bands and musicians uh, in the Advent worship, it was always difficult for contemporary bands to find that music. Hmm. Well, now you because you can, you have so many resources online. Hmm. Uh, Matthew was able to, to to script that out for us. It hmm. was really good. Yeah, definitely. I liked it a lot. So, uh, 
anyways, uh, that's all that's going on here this week. I guess we're continuing to receive canned goods for uh, the senior adult uh, uh, nutrition program here in uh, our community. Mm -hmm. uh, had stuff come in yesterday, had stuff come in today. Uh, I would anticipate that uh, we'd see just a little a trickle mm -hmm. uh, throughout the week and again on Sunday. We want to collect all those that we can by Sunday so we can deliver them uh, early next week. They need it by the end of the week and we want to mm -hmm. get it to them by, by Wednesday. So, Yeah, after that date they got to deliver it themselves yeah. in shame. <laughs> in shame. I showed up late. Here it is, my <laughs> offer. <laughs> well, uh, your Christmas mood is different, Teak. <laughs> I, th I think I, I rather like it, yeah. but it has thrown me off a bit today. I've been listening to music. My lights are up. Yeah, we're getting Trans, -Si Trans Siberian Orchestra is playing. Yeah, it's been on TV twice now. Well, you're in your happy place. And no Hallmark movie channels because no, <laughs> they didn't even make the top like 35. <laughs> well, um, I'm glad that you're you're feeling good about uh, where you are right now. Definitely, and uh, I know that we're all excited that you're feeling good. I'm glad. Yeah. When you're happy, Deke, we're all happy. The world revolves around me. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us this week. It's sort of a catch-up week for us as we move into a very significant season. Uh, moves rather quickly with Christmas mm. being on a Sunday this year. Uh, so we have three more Sundays of Advent before then and a lot of things that are going on in the life of our church and student ministry, mm -hmm. children's ministry. We're wrapping up a few things and then getting other things started. So be sure to follow us online uh, and uh, connect with us through social media. That way you can be up to date on all the things that are going on. Uh, this has been good uh, to chat a little bit today. We look forward to seeing you this Sunday along with Pop Sensations from Sweetwater High School. See you then.